Welcome back to Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. We're speaking with Phil Zimmerman. Now, if you've been involved in the communications business for a while and you've been using encryption, you've probably heard his name before. I first came in contact with Phil probably 15 or more years ago and have been using some of his security products. Well, we're talking right now about Silent Circle. And Silent Circle is his latest endeavor, which is bringing secure communications to everyone here. It includes businesses, government, individual users who want to keep their communications private, which is a very difficult thing to do in this day and age. You can find them online at silentcircle.com. And I should point out too, not only is Phil the creator of both PGP and this Zphone standard here, the ZRTP, which is a voice over IP standard, but he has been very busy out there. He was honored as an inductee into the Internet Hall of Fame. PC World named him one of the top 50 tech visionaries of the last 50 years. And InfoWorld named him one of the top 10 innovators in e business. He's also received a number of different awards over the years and and uh, has had his his own issues with communications over the years too. And and that Phil as I what I think brings a lot of people to the point where they're saying maybe I should look at some of the encryption and trying to make some of my communications secure. That's where this comes in. That's where Silent Circle comes in. This is the latest in iteration. And again, we're talking about secure encrypted communication services. You mentioned how we have high encryption available nowadays. In fact, silentcircle.com has a, an SSL certificate and uses a protocol that's secure. Uh, security today is a lot different than it was 10 years or 20 years ago. You know, back in World War II, the Enigma cipher was good enough to keep data secure. What do people have to be using nowadays to, to keep some of the bad guys and, and foreign governments out of their communications? Well, modern crypto systems are out of reach of uh, the major governments as far as breaking them is concerned. Uh, if you have a well-designed crypto system and you manage your keys carefully, uh, you can keep um, sovereign states from uh, crypto-analyzing your communications. Okay. Having said that, though, they usually find other ways to break in. For example, they'll uh, attack the computer that you're using and, and get control of it, and, and then they don't have to crack the crypto. It's kind of like uh, if you have a big steel door on your house, uh, rather than drilling through the door, somebody could smash the window, reach inside and turn the doorknob and open the door. Right. Um, so it doesn't matter how thick the steel is on the door, it, they, they can find a different way in. Well, and Phil, that's a really good point, too, in relation to being concerned about our government. It's one thing for them to suck everything up, and, and at some point, if we become the, a person of interest in an investigation, they can do that. They can put the keystroke loggers, they can do other things, but you're not going to find the normal bad guys doing that. You're not going to find the normal uh, foreign governments doing that either. So that's a good thing, too. Physical security becomes another issue, and ultimately, the government can get at it through physical security issues. They have to target you, and they have to spend money and, and, and focus their attention. And you get a real court order, too. Yeah, um, that's right. If you, if you use crypto, you can, you can keep the casual snooping out. Right. Okay, so Silent Suite here, again, this is for what types of devices? Uh, I see there's texting, there's voice. How, how does this tie together? How does this work? Well, we run on uh, mobile phones like the iPhone and Android phones and uh, the iPad and, and uh, Android tablets. Uh, we do secure phone calls, secure video, uh, secure text messages, uh, encrypted file attachments to those text messages. Um, and w the keys are not shared with our servers, so no government can twist our arm and force us to turn over the keys to decrypt your traffic. Mm -hmm. um, that means you don't have to trust us. Uh, you can download our source code to inspect it to see if the uh, client software does what we claim it does. Uh, we publish our uh, specification of the protocols that we use. Um, we're very transparent. Uh, you know, I designed this protocol that we use for secure phone calls uh, with the idea that you should not trust the phone company. I, or, you know, many years ago I designed it with, with the idea that the phone company could not be trusted. Well, it's kind of ironic that today 
now I'm a communication service provider that you know is kind of like a phone company, mm-hmm. and and so I, I I'm using a protocol now that was designed specifically so you wouldn't have to trust the service provider. Now that service provider is me or my company. We have 50 employees here, and um, and so you don't have to trust us. In fact, even if we turned evil, you're still covered. Mm-hmm. The keys are negotiated between the two parties that communicate. The keys are not shared with the service provider. So your communications are safe. Yeah, this is end-to-end encryption is what it's known as from my phone. Once it leaves my phone until it gets into your phone, uh, for instance, your voice communications are all encrypted. The same thing's true for the video, for the text messages, for the emails, etc. Phil, we've only got about 30 seconds left. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, well, um, many governments around the world are using our stuff now. And um, they wouldn't do that if they knew there was a way to break it. Mm-hmm. So um, if it's good enough for intelligence agencies and military and uh, you know, major governments, then it should be good enough for the rest of us. I think that makes a whole lot of sense. It is set up so that it can be used by individuals. It's very easy to do. I downloaded the software. You type in the key from the silentcircle.com website when you've signed up, and then off you go. You've made it very, very simple. Silentcircle.com is where you want to go online. We've had their president and co-founder on, Phil Zimmerman. And Phil, of course, the creator of the software as well as encryption software that's been a world standard for years. This is being used by businesses, government, and individual users as well. SilentCircle.com. Stick around. When we come back, more Tech Talk with Craig Peterson as we discuss your privacy. What are the issues and what can you do right here? Stick around. We'll be right back. 